Hello, everyone, this is the Developing China. Welcome to our channel. In this channel, we can learn about the latest news and information about China. As we all know, China is growing into a strong country. The changes of China are the hot issues in public eyes. So we want to take you to feel about these changes. That's the reason why our channel exists. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. I believe that those who follow the semiconductor industry should find that chip stacking technology has become a hot topic in the industry. First, Huawei High Silicon's dual-core stacking technology patents have been questioned by many. Then Apple uses a 2.5D package to verify the composition of two M1 Max and M1 Ultra to achieve chip stacking theory to practice. Let people understand that the original chip stacking may not be a theory, but it may also become a reality. In order to break the limits of Moore's law and achieve their own development and breakthrough, global companies have turned their attention to advanced packaging. Huawei, which has always wanted to achieve a breakthrough, is no exception and announced its own chip stacking patent. So, is there any hope for the breakthrough of Huawei chips? Does this achievement really mean that you can really sit back and relax in the future? Huawei's chip stacking patent is released. According to national patent information, Huawei disclosed a technical patent on April 5, mainly involving chip stack packaging and terminal equipment. So, what is the highlight of Huawei's patent? In fact, it not only ensures the electrical demand, but also solves the problem of the cost of packaging chips caused by the use of through silicon via technology for chip stacking. I have to say that Huawei's own scientific research strength is really strong. Even in the new track of chip packaging, Huawei can have such achievements and strengths. With the release of Huawei's patent, there is finally hope for Huawei's chip breakout. Is there any hope for Huawei chips to make breakthroughs in chip technology? Huawei has achieved such achievements in advanced packaging and obtained such a patent, which has solved Huawei's technical difficulties in packaging chips. In terms of equipment, although the Apple M1 Ultra chip is assembled from two high-end M1 chips, even if it is not used. High-end chips, in fact, may not be able to be advanced packaging. Huawei wants to establish a reasonable price benchmark so that the industry can use Huawei's patented technology fairly and reasonably. While obtaining appropriate R&D returns, it is also conducive to Huawei's image as an innovator in the international community. Huawei's use of other people's patents is also beneficial. To pay reasonably, this establishes IP values and soils that are conducive to innovation around the world. Some voices believe that it is reasonable for Huawei to charge patent fees. In this regard, Huawei said, patent fees cannot be charged for the sake of charging, nor can they be too low. If they are too low, innovation in the entire society will be curbed. No one is willing to invest in research and development, which will form our de facto monopoly. Comply with the principles of fairness, reasonableness, and non-discrimination as required by law. Huawei also said that it must be prepared to fight a protracted war. It does not seek quick victory, nor is it afraid of defeat. But charging is not the ultimate goal, the most important thing is to clarify the relationship between the two parties through communication and negotiation. During the negotiation process, a team that is good at communication and negotiation is gradually forged. When we reach the world's leading position one day, we can rationally distribute the value chain. Run Jingfei said in the open letter. Therefore, the release of Huawei's patent will undoubtedly get rid of the bottleneck caused by advanced equipment, and there is naturally hope for the breakthrough of Huawei's chips. In addition, why has Huawei been unable to break the game in terms of chips? In fact, I personally think that the fundamental reason is that Huawei's 5G mobile phone business is temporarily put on hold because Huawei does not have many 5G chips in its hands. Even with such a small amount of 5G chips, Huawei cannot make the best use of it. Before, with the help of TD Tech, a backdoor listing was made. On March 31st, a related digital blogger revealed that Huawei is equipped with Kirin 9000 4G chips Mate X3, this model has passed the network access audit of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology and may be released at the end of April. Why can't Huawei make the best use of 5G Kirin chips? Not because of the obstruction of American technology. Now, Huawei has its own chip stacking patent, and it also has corresponding localization support in terms of equipment. In the future, Huawei chips are actually expected to break the game. In short, Huawei has this chip stacking patent. Today, when chip packaging has become a new trend, the benefits brought by Huawei and Huawei chips are countless. It is self-evident that Huawei is in chip stacking and chip packaging. 
the development potential is also huge. And the strong strength in chip packaging is also crucial for Huawei's chip breakthrough. So, when Huawei has such a strong strength in chip stacking technology today, will Huawei no longer have to worry about US sanctions in the days to come? In the days ahead, Huawei will do things more carefully. At present, the advanced chip manufacturing process is about to reach the limit of Moore's law. This has long been a public fact. Many companies around the world are also entering chip stacking and chip packaging. On August 31st last year, according to relevant industry sources, TSMC has launched a new advanced packaging technology coupe heterogeneous integration technology for the data center chip market. On March 31st this year, according to relevant Taiwan media reports, TSMC Junan Advanced Packaging and Testing Plant AP6 will be mass-produced in the third quarter of this year, not only to enter 2D backslash 2.5D packaging, but also to promote large-scale 3D more advanced packaging mass production plans. In 2018, on that year's Architecture Day, Intel also announced Fovero's 3D packaging technology, a new packaging technology that expands chip stacking from stacked memory and passive transition boards to high-end performance logic chips. From this, it is not difficult to see that although the chip stacking field is very new, there are still many competitors and there is a lot of competitive pressure. Under such circumstances, how can Huawei take it lightly? In addition, there is actually an unstable factor in the United States that hinders the development of Huawei's advanced stacking and advanced packaging. Why does the US want to revise the rules is not to maintain its own greatness and prevent companies from other countries from encroaching on the US's number one status in the world. Will the United States let Huawei continue to develop and progress in advanced stacking and advanced packaging? Obviously not. Therefore, Huawei still cannot take it lightly. Huawei still has a long way to go. To sum up, in my opinion, chip stacking has undoubtedly become the object of competition for global chip-related companies as the development space for advanced packaging is shrinking. Huawei, with its unremitting efforts, has never given up and never gave up the spirit, finally in the field of chip packaging, it has won such an impressive patent and achieved such a huge breakthrough, which is really gratifying. I hope that Huawei will continue to make persistent efforts in the field of advanced chip packaging in the future, and strive to use the help of this patent to make chip stacking and packaging a reality that can be seen and touched. The front may be very long, and there may be thorns everywhere, but I believe that Huawei will be able to overcome thorns and create greater glories in the end. Thanks for watching our video. If you love our videos, please share them with your friends.